In this video I'm going to show you how to build up a table in Microsoft Access. Okay, a table is where you, you're going to store all your information, all your data in Access. It's what sits behind the forms and the reports. So let's get started. So if we go to the main database window, we can see the tables selector here and we can click the new button to get up a new table. Now we've got various options here. Um, the top one, data sheet view, that's basically going to give us um, a look that's very much like an Excel spreadsheet um, and we can enter data straight into it. Design view will enable us to create a table from scratch, add, add our own fields in and basically build it up as a design table. Um, table wizard is going to ask us a series of questions and depending on our answers it will go away and create a table for us. Then we've got the ability to import a table from another database or link to a table in an external database but these are more advanced subjects. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select design view because that's the only way that um, you're really going to learn how a table is constructed is to actually sort of go in and do it from a design view rather than use the wizard. So if we select design and then we click the OK button. So Access goes away and it's going to create us a, a table ready for us to enter our fields into. Here we go. So we have these columns here. Field. Now essentially what a field is in a table is actually a column. So it could be a first name, a surname, an ID field, anything like that. Data type. That's going to be the type of data that it's going to be holding. For instance, the first name would be string data, text data. Um, you could have uh, a price as a field name, in which case the data type would probably be numeric of some, of some kind. The description is where you can actually put a comment in about what that field actually stands for. I tend not to use the description very much and it's not really compulsory so you can leave that. So let's get started. If we click here we can enter in our first field. I'm going to enter in a company name, a tab to the next field or to the next column rather and we click the down arrow we can see the different data types that we can use for a company name text memo number date time currency auto number yes no OLE object hyperlink lookup wizard now text is basically going to be something like ABC string type data which would probably be suitable for company name. We also have memo. Now memo is for when you're going to type in a lot of text and, and probably a text field is going to be too small so we'd use something like memo. Number. Now that's going to be for numeric data. Um, things like prices and, and uh, summing values, things like that. Date time. Self-explanatory. You want to put in a, a date for something or add the time in, you'd use that data type. Currency, similar to numeric, you're going to get a currency symbol next to it, a dollar sign or a pound sign. Auto number, this is a self generating number um, which access increments every time you add a new record. So it's usually it's used for an identifier field. We'll come on to that in a minute. Yes, no. That's normally used for a selection or a choice that you have on the screen. OLE object, that could be anything from a Word document to a sound file, picture. Hyperlink, if you want to type a web address into your form that the user can click on and go to a website, you'd use hyperlink. Lookup wizard, I'm not actually going to cover that for now. It's not that important. So for company name, the obvious one to select here is text because we're going to be entering textual data there so I'm going to select text for that 
Now if we click on underneath company name we can now add our next field in which will be address again that's going to be text I've added a town in there to be text county postcode I've also made the phone number to be textual um, the reason being is that you can get some phone numbers um, which are a combination of numeric and textual data so I'll keep that in there for now um, and we'll make the fax number to be text as well so that's our table so far